how to create this in Adobe Rush. Stick around. Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Claudio, so glad that you're here. Today we're going to be creating this overlay effect using Adobe Rush. Now, I'm going to be doing this in two parts, both of them today. The first part is using Adobe Photoshop to remove a section of a photo. Now, if you already know how to do that, you'll be able to skip forward to the Adobe Rush section. So let's go ahead and start with the Photoshop part and then we'll do the Rush after that. This is a photo that I'm using for the special effect overlay in Adobe Rush. I picked this up in Adobe Stock. You check it out, find some great photos there at stock.adobe.com. This is great because there's some extra space over there on the right hand side where I can add text. So let's first again start by removing that black screen area. I'm going to go over here to this tool, which is the magic wand tool. If you're not familiar with that, pretty cool tool. There's actually three right here, magic wand, quick selection tool, and object selection tool. So if you never use this in Photoshop, check it out. It's pretty cool. Uh, I've had the tolerance set to 110. Uh, that's not percent, just like a value. I'm going to click here. And if you notice, it automatically selects that whole black area. Now I'm going to just click on delete. And actually, let me zoom in a little bit here because you can see there's some extra space there that did not get removed. All I need to do is move my magic wand there and it will select that. So it's much easier when you have kind of perfect squares or circles or sharp edges, makes it easier. It gets a little uh, more detail, a little more work when you have a lot more shapes and curves and whatnot. So this is perfect, exactly what I need to do. Let me go ahead and click out here. Let's zoom back out. Now the next step is to save this as a PNG or I can even uh, save it as a Photoshop file, but I'm gonna do a PNG because it just works easier in Rush. And let me go ahead and export this and then we'll jump over to Adobe Rush. All right, so here we have the overlay that I'm going to be using, making sure there's the PNG. And then here's the video I'm going to be using. And I think that's it. We'll add text a little bit later. I'm going to go ahead and name this project. We're gonna call this, let's see, screen effect. There we go, screen effect. Let's go ahead and create. So I've got both items added here. Let's go ahead and show our layers here. And we're going to move the photo, or I should say the screen effect, we're going to move that to the top because that's going to be over the other video there. And we're going to go ahead and resize the entire project because right now it's set to nine by 16, kind of for Instagram stories. So let's go ahead and click here. And we're going to go, let's do, let's do one, one, see how it looks like. And that to me looks just fine. The next thing we'll do is extend this image layer. We're going to take that all the way to the entire clip here, but I do have to trim my video layer. You see down here, you can see a little bit of the video actually through that overlay. So that's what I really wanted to show you there was that effect. So let's go ahead and click on the video layer and let's expand so we can see the audio. And here's a tip for you. What you want to do is move the line right there kind of to where the video starts which is about right there and what we'll do is we'll trim that and we want to make sure that we trim this here so that it matches that bottom one now i can delete that all on its own and then automatically it shifts over and then we'll get here towards the end and we'll trim it right there use the scissors we'll trim this down and actually just drag it there. So now it matches. So we've got the perfect ending there. And now the next thing I have to do is click on the video layer and we're going to come over to the transform tool and we're going to resize it. We're going to bring down the width and the height in proportion. As you can see, it's kind of moving out of screen there. That's fine. We're going to go little by little and horizontal position. We're gonna move that over here and let's bring that down some more. And I gave myself some extra room when I recorded this video. As you can see, I've got kind of that wall on top over here. So I'm going to zoom in a bit and then I'm going to adjust that vertical positioning. And I think it's pretty good to go here. 
So let's just see how it looks like. So this video is actually three reasons why you should be using Adobe Spark. And I'm gonna add those three reasons on the side there. But I think it looks just fine. It looks where I want it to be. It looks like actually the phone is just sitting there playing the video and that's the effect I want to give. And that's all by creating a PNG in Photoshop, removing that section and letting the video play right through. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some text here and I'll be right back. I've just finished the text in this special effect overlay. I did a little tweaking to make it work. And this is what the final product looks like. Three reasons why you should be using Adobe Spark. Number one, it is cross-platform. That means that I can start a project on my Android device, continue editing on my iPhone, and then finish it up on the desktop. Number two is that I can import images that I have saved in a cloud from Google Drive, Google Photos, from Dropbox. I can even import images from Adobe Lightroom, bring them into Adobe Spark, add text, add objects or shapes, create whole new graphics, all by importing from the cloud. And number three is that I can improve my workflow. If I have projects that I created in Adobe Spark, I can create duplicates from those and keep the originals intact, edit text, alter images or graphics, and create whole new projects. And those are three reasons why you should be using Adobe Spark. I hope this video helps you create your own screen effect overlays using Adobe Rush. If you have any comments or questions about this video, please do let me know by adding it in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, set your notifications, and share this video with others. Thank you again for coming by and as always be good to one another. Peace.